Yeah, it's brand new. Got everything. I guess I don't know if you guys remember but I condemn a compressor on this unit so we're gonna go ahead and replace it uh, we got three recovery tanks we got one more in the van uh, we're gonna go ahead and recover the refrigerant put new refrigerant in just to keep it on the safe side um, and that's pretty much it we're gonna go ahead and replace it and go from there all right guys so let me just show you guys what we have we have three nitrogens, so we can purge it while we raise and also leak check it. Um, got the dolly, so we can bring most of the things from uh, across. And then uh, we're gonna wait for the crane to lift up the compressor, and then we're able to take that out one too. So, so right now we're gonna go ahead and recover, and then wait for the crane. Drop this one, put the one up, and go from there. All right, guys, got the recovery up and running. Is it open? Yeah, it should be. Hi guys, that's the first jug. I think that's for quick. All right, guys, we're gonna get another recovery tank. Thought we needed just two, but we're gonna end up using all three. All right, guys, there goes the third. So we already got this one, and the one we went down and chopped off. So now we got the third one. We're looking good. Right, guys compressors out all cleaned up right now we're gonna wait for the crane to get here it should be in around 10 more minutes we're gonna drop this one get the new one bring it up here that should be good
Hey guys, got the nitrogen flowing. We almost used almost all of that when we were brazing, so we're gonna use the remainder and then we're gonna use those two to fill it up more. So right now we're just checking for leaks and we'll go from there. Right, guys 250 a little bit above 250 we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that we're gonna go ahead and take lunch so in about 30 minutes we'll come back and check it found it one thing we always do guys is anytime we go down always bring something down with you it'll make your life easier at the end Twelve o'clock, guys. About to take some lunch. Damn, damn. Or one o'clock. I don't even know. Damn. One thing I hate about pandas that you eat it. And like two hours later, you're fucking hungry again. So that's why that's why I try to order as much chicken as possible. But I'll probably be hungry again in, within an hour. Well, we don't have to worry about that. They always know that I stop and get in and out. <laughs> oh yeah, you, we'll fucking stop later for sure. <laughs> this ain't fun, guys. When we just took lunch. <sighs> One of the hardest things doing is after you eat, it's fucking working, man. And then going up the stairs makes it worse. There it is. Yep, is that the same? 250. Right now what I'm doing, I'm just tasting the, the hose before I open the rest.
right guys 41 minutes 1800 I mean this is gonna take a while because this is a three-story building so and the lines are pretty pretty big so. Alright guys, so I completely forgot to show you guys the vacuum. We we're trying to hurry up already, so it did pump down to 400 and I think it was a two 400 and hey, what was the vacuum they go? 470? 470. Yeah, 470. So we were good with that. So right now we're going to charge it up. I think this unit takes about how many pounds? 43. Yeah, 43 pounds of refrigerant. So almost two jugs. So yeah guys, we're gonna go ahead and charge it up, get everything done, turn it on, and hopefully everything runs good. Everything's done, charge it all up. Let me just show you guys the wells. Come out nice. Usually when I do this type of compressors, big ones and things like this, I put a shitload of uh, solder. I don't just put a little bit around, I make sure I put all, all around it and a bunch of it. So, uh, mark down the compressor, the date. I just gotta put this panel back in, take this thing down, that, extension cord, those little things right there, and that should be it. So, let's do it. All right, guys, that's everything right there. Let's get out of here. Also, guys, we just got um, email saying that there's another bad compressor on the unit on the third unit right beside it so most likely we'll be back next week or at the end of this week to install that one so uh, I don't know there's a third floor so for this one, we're gonna take an elevator and then go all the way down. But from here, we have to go through the stairs all the way up to the very top and carry everything by one at a time, basically. <sighs> so this is the elevator, guys. And anytime you guys use one of these, you have to make sure you close the door so wherever once he uses it at a different floor, is able to. And uh, we've been here all day, and every single time we come up here and we close it, somebody else, you know, press the button to go down and they leave it open. So now, Diego has to go down, find where it's at, close it down, and then come back up. Fucking A. And I told him, I was like, hey, just leave it open because they're gonna keep doing the same shit. But he decided to close it down. So now we just gotta wait. It's kind of creepy. Some walking dead shit in here. <laughs> yeah, I told you this was left it open. And now, 
Is that first floor? Or just hold it? What about to go up? Three? Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, we have another compressor to come and do at the end of this week or maybe next week. I'm probably not going to film that because it's going to be the same exact thing. So, uh, what else? Tomorrow, I have to go do a maintenance and then two freezers. So, hopefully I'll be able to record that. And uh, But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.